Don't mess with Texas. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Jug One Channel. I am your host. Hmm. <sighs> Got a little yee yee energy drink. Some good shit right there. We're gonna be talking about the best dip and drink combination out there. But before we get started, we gotta load our lip with a big fat dip. Wake up. Put a dip in. Crack a cold one. Put my boots. Well, I got no boots on today. Sorry, running shoes. Anyway, shout out to Earl Devils Jr. We're going to load our lip with some of that Copenhagen goodness. We've been pulling out of the magic box, the old trick tickle trunk. We've just been getting garbo. So we're just going to do an all-out American video today. Um, Speaking of that, Chris Dips, should I put the cryptic can lid on my Copenhagen? Heck yeah, I have a little dilemma. Or should I put... The dip money. I really mm. like that cryptic, man. Well, hey, remember cryptic mud jug? Yeah, all right, let's do cryptic. So we'll just press it on there. Oh, look at that. Good to go. So easy. Look at it. Oh, oh, oh. All right, so let's load our lip. Now, I've been taking little bitch pinches lately. A little bitch pinch. That's what I call a bitch pinch. I like to do a little less for my videos. So I'm not salivating everywhere. Pitting all over you guys. So Mud jug to spin in. What mud jug? Mud jug of the day. What should it be? Should it be the new Yee Yee Earl Dibbles Jr. Mud jug? Get that over at EarlDibblesJr.com. Or should it be the Lone Star Mud jug? Look at this shit. Yeah, don't mess with Texas. Oh, that is a, some sexiness right there. Good grief. We'll use the Lone Star Mud jug. Just spitting America all day long. You guys can get this mud jug 15% off using the coupon code TEXAS. So this uh, Lone Star mud jug has some cow skulls on it. And obviously, as you can see, it has the uh, state of Texas in it with uh, the flag integrated into the state. And then it has this like subdued, old school, uh, weathered kind of look in it as well, which is cool as shit. Definitely one of my new favorites. As you, a lot of you people know, I can't stand California, and I just look forward to the day that I can move, and I want to move to Texas, Northeast Texas, and uh, you know, maybe someday my dreams will come true. I am wearing my Keep It Freaking Hillbilly hat. You guys can get this at KeepItHillbilly.com, Outlaw Dippers uh, website. You can now get mud jugs and outlaw gear um, at the same time on uh, mudjug.com. I believe if uh, you buy $100 worth of shit on a website, Outlaw's giving away a free free calendar, collectible calendar for that as well. So just want to let you guys know about that. So let's get back into it. Yee -yee. So let's have a little discussion about the best dip and drink combo. Now, I like this shit. The sparkling ice shit. I like almost every flavor there is. Me, I, when I eat, I gotta have carbonation. I can't be drinking, you know, orange juice or anything like that. I don't drink that type of stuff. And then when I'm done, I finish up my meal. I have another swig of whatever I'm drinking that's carbonated and then it just primes me perfectly for a dip. Now, Chris drinks monsters. He drinks these things, and I quit drinking Monsters, even though I love the taste of Monsters. I really love how energy drinks in general, especially the Yee Yee, I love the taste of these, by the way. These are these are pretty, pretty damn good. The taste and the carbonation just sets me up perfectly for putting a dip in. Now, a lot of people think that same way about Mountain Dew. I'm not a, a regular soda guy, but I do love diet soda, like diet Pepsi is like crack to me. Um... Diet Mountain Dew is really good, but I want people to leave comments down below and believe it or not uh, A good energy drink or a good diet soda for me is a better combo than beer to me because it has the it has more uh, I guess it just has more of a more flavor to it. It's more uh, it's more sugar more sugar probably yeah, yeah. beer is fine I mean, I still like dipping when I'm drinking beer don't get me wrong, but I think beer is just too frothy too. I like a little more like, like a heavy burn from the carbonation and you don't get a lot of that from a lot of beers. 
Although in the morning when I have my breakfast, I like to have coffee, nice and black. And, uh, you know, that gets me primed as hell for a dip and then a dip shit, if you know what I'm saying. So leave in the comments down below what your favorite dip and drink combo is. And I'm just kind of interested. You know, I know I've done videos in the past on, you know, putting pouring energy drink and Mountain Dew in my dip and leaving it overnight in the fridge and da 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 da. But this time I just want to know people's opinion. What what is the best combo? Give me some ideas because I love trying different di different drink and dip combos. Yay! Yeah, yeah. So I wanted to talk about the McGregor Mayweather fight. Yes. Uh, woo! Yee yee! <laughs> Coming up in August. What are we, July? Next month? Holy shit. Yep. So we're probably gonna have that, that fight in my house, and I'm gonna spend $100 on this shit. I'm sorry, I will. I wanna see it. But I wanna know people's comments as well on that, because everybody I talk to is disagreeing with me, because I said that, call, that, that Conor McGregor has a chance, and I think it's only gonna take one punch. And I think that McGregor's a bigger man, and usually a bigger man, even though they're they, they got a weigh in the same at the when they go to fight, McGregor's gonna be 10 pounds heavier than Mayweather, and that adds up. And nine times out of ten, a bigger man will beat a smaller man. Mayweather is old ass dude like me. <laughs> and even though he he's very quick and he's hard, his defense is great and he's he's hard to hit, only gonna take one. Everybody disagrees. And I'm putting money on on McGregor. Now the odds aren't that great. Last time I checked, it was uh, it was plus 500, five hundred, five to one. But um, it's going to be interesting, man. I mean, all this shit. Have you guys seen? If you guys haven't watched some of the, the press conferences they've done, oh my gosh! So it's comedy, man. Hell no! You fucking weasel and you fucking bitch! It's hilarious. I, I can't wait for that fight. I'm pretty excited about that because uh, you know. Now I did read. I don't know how accurate it is, and I guess they have to figure out how much everybody, each guy makes once the, all the pay-per-view money comes in. But I've read as high as 125,000 for, or 125,125 million for McGregor, and freaking up to 400 million for Mayweather. 400 million dollars. That's like so much money. I, I just, I don't even know. I don't think I could spend that kind of money. Could you, Chris? Dibbs? Hell no, dude. What the? What the? I mean, good God. At least 300 mil on dip, though. Yeah, 300 mil on dip <laughs> and energy drinks. Yeah, yeah. Last car, New Hampshire, this past weekend. <sighs> Denny Handjob Hamlin finally won. Um, I'm not a big fan of his. I could care either. I could care less either way. To be honest with you, um, I put my money on uh, on on Dale Jr. and he didn't do shit. As long as Kyle Busch, it's been a year since his last win in the Cup Series. Gotta love it, Chris. Oh, hell yeah. Gotta love it, you know? <laughs> I love it when, when, when some a driver's leading and they go to a commercial and shit and they show the driver like doing this and he's like, he's like walking away and look, trying to look all, all tough and shit. What the fuck? We saw how much of a pussy you were when you tried to beat up Joey Logano, you dipshit. <sighs> Speaking of Joey Logano, I'm hoping he doesn't make it either. <laughs> little spoon-fed little prick. Make it as far as into the into the uh, chase. Nonetheless, we're gonna do picks of the week. Send your picks of the week on either to our uh, Facebook fan page or to mjphotos at mudjug.com. Send us some pics with you in it, doing some good shit in your mudjug. Good grief! I don't know how many times I gotta say it. Please, please don't send pictures of you and your cat. All right? <laughs> Nobody likes cats. Fuck cats. Fuck cats. You stink. You piss everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> so, here are our picks of the week. Coupon code Texas for 15% off. When you can be cool like me and cool like Earl Devil Jr. Earl Devil Jr. is from Texas, by the way. I want to know how many Earl Devil Jr. fans are out there. Stay tuned to the Chris Chips One channel. Um, Jesse Ryan USA, myself, and Chris are going to do another Earl Devils Jr. Uh, video. We did one. We did one a few uh, months ago. Oh, yeah. 
Here we go, Los Santos. Hey, city boy stuck. <laughs> Penny Loafer didn't bring no luck. Should have thrown a rope. No, hell no, not me. <laughs> roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it around. Yay! That was great, Earl. That was great. Thank you very much, Chris. You boy. are you are a star in my eyes, Earl. I told you, Dr. Conte, we're going to be friends by the end of the day. It's pretty funny. We, we basically, uh, you know, Jesse Ryan USA, he was Earl Dibbles Jr. Jr. <laughs> and uh, it was pretty funny. So... Anyway, always be a man to reach for that can, because if it ain't dip, it ain't shit. If you ain't packing, you slacking. And don't mess with Texas, because all my exes live in Texas. Oh! Yeah, you know what I'm saying, Scotty P? Scotty P, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the other question I want to ask you guys is, how much are you willing to pay for a can of dip before you go, oh, fuck this, I'm, I'm either cutting back or I'm going to quit completely. 